Let us pay respect to Lung Ho, ครับ First bow. Second bow. Third bow. Hello, everyone. I use. I'm not seeing. Slipped away on me. Graphics came on. Didn't know it. Okay. That should be good. That's good. Okay. <clears throat> what now? <laughs> Never know what to say. In Canada now, if you watch. The media, you get advertisements for warm countries, beaches, palm trees, and I'm here. <laughs> I was thinking, just sitting outside, having some fruit juice and the sound of the river and the palm tree. This is a dream come true. <laughs> Very nice being here. Uh, does anyone have any? Anything that confuses them, or they'd like to consider, or 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 or, or me or I, my, <laughs> as we say, any questions or. Don't scratch your head because I'll think you're raising your hand. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, <laughs> um, okay, I'll just try something. There are a few questions that came through the Zoom session. Um, one was, if I don't want to argue, how do I get past negativity? So obviously there's some conflict. Another one was, how did I what how did I practice in the three months? after my mother died with a confusion. And then another question, sort of how do I get past negativity? And they're all, they're all kind of similar questions. And like in, in terms of how did I practice? Well, I'm just aware of the way things are. So there's really nothing special to do because my concern is not the objects of experience, it's the knowing of experience. And you can see confusion or non-confusion, it's really, it's the same being, right? It's the same sense of presence. So that would take me to ask the folk that asked that question, what is your sata? What is your faith? What do you trust in? And obviously we have faith in the Buddhist teaching. So we, you know, we, we have faith in, 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 Sila Samadhi Panya in the different ways we put it, but kind of more deeply, what is your, what do you trust when you're meditating? And also is meditation something that's actually uh, integral 24 seven to your life? Is meditation just some kind of a different activity as opposed to normal life activity? Or really is it very much always integrated throughout life through all experience? And you can see how awareness in this particular way of thinking about it is you, you don't really stop awareness, do you? Like you don't leave near an ara and then be stupid. <laughs> you know, you stay with awareness. So it's not really a practice like doing qigong or, or, or boiling an egg, right? It's, 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 it's just pervasive. Um, and, and so I guess the issue is like trust. So if confusion comes or negative states of mind comes, then you're sort of tested, maybe not like consciously, but you are tested to what are you going to do about this now? Maybe it's like Mara coming and whispering in your confusion, confusion. What are you going to do now? Has it nothing to do? Really? There's nothing to do just to be, to be aware. Um, I think when we, most of us, when we started meditation, you know, we, we did metta bhavana deliberately, or we did anapanasati deliberately, or we did a subhagamatana deliberately, or 
we did 32 parts of the body deliberately. So it's very much a kind of me doing something to get something, which is not wrong, and it can give results. But as I've been saying, there comes a time in your meditative life, you question the very sense of me doing something all the time. And, and you, 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 you move, I think, quite intuitively to, to the sense of being rather than becoming, knowing rather than knowing anything particular. When we say puru, it's not like you know anything particular, you just know. Oh. So in the case of confusion, confusion's like this. In the, in, in the case of inspiration, inspiration's like this. Lopacha, I would say it's our real home. And then, of course, people will say, oh, I've got to find our real home. <laughs> right? And, and no, 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 no. Nothing to find. You know, it, it, it's just ganyang niyang. But it's so, it's so difficult to have faith in that when life is um, confusing, negative, not the way you want it not the way you want it. So then you come back to just the foundations of Four Noble Truths. What do I want that I don't have? What do I have that I don't want? That's simple. And then you come back to letting go of desire. And the more you do that, the more you, you, you just come home all the time. You come home. So with a confusion with my mother, I mean, I can't remember, to live, you know, kind of, I don't have a very good memory, actually. <laughs> um, but I can't. I can't remember that I did anything special, except I stayed away from people because I knew that um, with people, I would have to suppress that and be a nice guy. And, and I did it a few times when guests came and the other monks, it, it was kind of important that I was there. So then I would just put this aside. It was interesting that, okay, now I'll be charming. Not, 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 not within, in any kind of hypocritical way. It's just, no, now I'll practice metta bhavana with this person because they're here and they don't need to know my story. You know, I can put it aside for a while. That was interesting. And then they go and then I feel crappy again. <laughs> but somehow that, that, felt, that felt okay. Um, so I guess I, I have enough experience that whatever material comes up from consciousness that's conditioned by rather adverse factors that it's okay, you know, that it's all okay. Um, and, and, and the questions that people wrote into the Zoom, there were several like that. Like one was uh, like one person is very much uh, serves the Sangha community and others don't. And they think, why don't they help? Why don't they help? I do all the work. I do all the work. Why don't they help? Why don't they help? That's common. You know, how many, how many families uh, are there that you have like four brothers and sisters and one person always takes care of mom and dad. That's pretty common. Um, and the other three, well, maybe they're at the casino. <laughs> I don't know. And, and then of course, if you're the caregiver, you know, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Um, and yeah, it's not fair. <laughs> you know, welcome to life. Life is not fair. So we're not even looking for fairness in life. We're just, we're just seeing life is, is unfair feels this way. Um, um, injustice feels this way. We can, as social beings, address that. You know, we can have a family meeting and say, hey, come on, we've all got to pitch in. Probably won't help. <laughs> I'll still go to the casino uh, or, or not. Or, but, but just at a psychological level, an inner level, um, we have, we, 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 we have expectations of how life should be, and then life is like this. And if you, if you use this kind of retreat to, to develop a sense of trust in awareness of change, um, now it's the knowing, uh, it's like this, my na, all, these, all the language is really, really pointing to one thing. Uh, know that you know. I think, you know, Yom Tip, you had that. In the, this, this morning, that kind of insight, oh, mind knowing the mind, know that you know. That's a funny one. Know that you know. What do you mean, know that you know? What do you know that you know? <laughs> you know very circular, right? But actually, it's, it's quite profound. I, I'm here now. It feels this, but I know that I know. So it doesn't really matter if it's hot, cold. Well, it wouldn't matter if it was cold. I'd need a sweater. But, you know, at some level, your refuge is not 
an experience. You know, it's not experience, not a sense experience or a psychological experience or a social experience. It's something deeper than all experience. It's within which all experience comes and goes. And, and, and so maybe to these folk and to all of us to say, you know, what is sata in, in a deeper sense? What is faith? What is faith and trust? Uh, and and uh, when, when life gets a bit wonky, you know the word wonky? <laughs> um, disba- uh, uh, unbalanced. It's a bit unbalanced and in ways that you don't expect, then, then that's the test. Where's the faith? And if you've used the language of it's like this, my nah, then that should start to click in on all those pressure situations. And then you've got a chance to um, work it through. Memory is very important. You know, I was pondering memory this morning and how I've got a few memories of things I've done, which were not nice. Not that I'm a cruel person, but you know, there are moments and times of heedlessness in one's life where one does things which one regrets. And who's, you know, who's free of that? Maybe the Buddha, but not me. Uh, and, um, and it's interesting how, like I've got one memory of something I did in 1977. And, and, uh, and it, you know, it was really insensitive, but I kind of understand the context and I still have that memory. But I don't dwell on it. I don't say bad monk. <laughs> and I say, oh, what do I say? I say memory feels like this. So then, and, and memory is like that. It just it's it's like it, it, obviously in 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 the moment of its happening, it was much 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 stronger the regret. But then you still have these echoes in your mind. But they're just memories. So whether whether that's happened that I've done it or. It's happened to me or whatever. I have one memory. I was 17 years old. I, I was riding a 250cc Honda motorbike. I had a girlfriend on the back. I passed five cars. Crazy, just stupid young guy showing off. And I just made it. And I still have that memory. I almost killed two people. And, you know, because it was so extreme and so really dumb. So have this kind of, I mean, it's not, I don't, it doesn't come, you know, it doesn't stay in my mind, but it's interesting. I'll just pop up. Oh, well, I'm glad I didn't kill it. <laughs> so grateful. And just realizing how crazy young men can be, right? And that kind of thing. But that's memory. Memory is that way. But we are not our memories. You're, I'm, I am not those mistakes that have been made. And other people are not the mistakes they have made. Right? That, 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 that's just, we, are, we are something bigger than our memory system. We need memory. We need sanya. If you didn't have sanya, you'd have Alzheimer's. Right? So you don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> um, but but that, that memory which creates personality that can be known, uh, you know, you can know that as an object. So again, just these simple exercises, listen to sound, feel the body, is training the mind to, to see sankaras arising and ceasing. It's the kind of classic way we talk about it. Uh, it's, it's easy to say sankaras, but when a memory comes up, it's hard to remember it. that's a sankara. It's more like that's me, but we are not our memories. Our memories condition our personality, I've got another memory that comes up. I was, now I was about, I was in high school, early high school. And I was just, I was just, there was another guy bigger than me, older than me. I liked him. And I was just nagging him all the time. I don't know, like, like just saying, you know, like, like a spoiled brat. He was a very nice guy. And, and uh, he said, don't do that. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do that. All right. He put me in a, uh, on the ground in the snow and rubbed snow in my face. <laughs> and, you know, that was good for me. You know, that was really just what I needed because I was so stupid. <laughs> we do that in Canada because we have snow. You don't have snow. You see, we can do that. And, and that, you know, it doesn't come up often, but every now and then, say, yeah, you were really dumb there, weren't you? 
He's bigger than me too. <laughs> so memory, you know, memory works that way. I mean, you, you know, more deep seated memories like people who have been abused in, 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 um, in childhood. Wow. That's serious. That's serious memory. That's difficult memory because it, or someone who has uh, suffered, you know, maybe like the twin towers, uh, 9-11 or an Afghan veteran or, or things like that. We had one monk who was a, he was a Marine in Vietnam. He's died since, but he was a monk with us. And he was uh, at Chithurst. And we had, so before we had Kutis at Chithurst, and we, we built these um, little bivouacs where we built a frame of, of um, what was it, willow or something, a stick frame and, and, and a, a floor of, of, um, of sticks. So we're kind of off the ground. And then we put car carpets over the, the willow frame. And then we put insulation over that. And that was like a kuti. But so we could afford. <laughs> and uh, so he was, and, and, and Chitters has a big forest. And, and he was on the hillside uh, going down to Hammer Pond, kind of situated on the hill, beautiful, beautiful place. And someone was hunting across the valley, deer hunting, and three rounds, uh, three rifle shots came across the valley, and he could hear them go into the, um, into the bank near him. And his mind fell into the Vietnam War for like two hours. It's just poof, sunk into the horror of that. So those are the extremes, you know, those are, there's the extremes. You can see how that does, the more extreme it is, the more it creates a kind of reality. So memories like that, usually you need very good therapy and very skillful, skillful means to, to deal with that. So if you, I mean, if, if that does happen, then, and, and you kind of get lost in the, in the memory traces, then we have really good psychology now for PTSD and, and all, all those different things. But the kind of normal run-of-the-mill life's uh, problems, none of us are free from mistakes. And, and the Buddha, like I say, Devadatta tried to kill him, rolled a rock, down, 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 and like, has anyone, if, has your cousin ever tried to kill you yet? You know? In other words, who, who are we to, to think that we are free from, from such adversity? We, we all face it. And then also others, you know, who is, when we look at others who make mistakes, although we, we are cautious if people have been abusive to us or whatever, but in a normal course of events, um, if people are insensitive, are they always insensitive? Maybe, then you have to give distance. They're not kalyanamitta. So we do have that. We have like social norms like kalyanamitta and what is a good friend, you know, and, and one who, who, you know, shares your life in a way where you, you can trust them. So not trusting someone isn't bad. If it's, if it's, if it's a word, you know, if it's, if it's kind of, part of a skillful social living, but mistrust, which is just based on hurt and emotionality and so on, and just holds, um, is, is, well, can be investigated. I've seen times where families where someone has not forgiven a parent and then the parent dies and they, oh, it's, that's, that's, that's tough. They kind of got stubborn. And I'm not going to give, I'm not going to forgive dad. Nope. And, and the issue maybe hasn't, like if, it's, if it was child abuse, okay, then, then that, that would be, you know, you could see, you could understand it. But it's just one of those family issues. And I'm not going to forgive. I'm not going to forgive. Dad just had a heart attack. Oh, no. And then what do you do? What do you do with that? You're stuck with it. So to carry people around like that is to carry yourself around in a, in a kind of painful way. Um, and even though we might not reconcile with family members or business partners or whatever, we don't have to carry it around as a sense of self. And so when you, you know, in this whole, you know, talking about memory, if you just label memory and memory, it really helps a lot. Rather than memory as self, it really, really helps a lot. It helps to liberate that. All right. Let's do some meditation. I won't give instruction. Let's just sit. <clears throat> 